Oh my gosh, you guys, good morning. I'm Brenda Hillard, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. And it's Saturday, and here we are at Coffee and Create with Brenda. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. We did. Um, we're still celebrating on Saturday. So um, the weather was perfect. The turkey was perfect. And today I have a little bit of information at the beginning here for you and then we'll get started so because it's officially after Thanksgiving <clears throat> I have out my Christmas mug so meowy Christmas and a happy meow year <laughs> I love this mug and this just symbols Christmas for me so I hope you have your cup of coffee and I have a fun little project for us today Let's start out with some news first. As you all know that get my newsletter, um, Sandy Mainz, one of my team members and I are hosting a spring stamping retreat at the Dennis Drummond Wine Company on February 20th. Um, all of the information is on my um, blog at createwithbrenda.com. So hop on over there and get yourself registered. Um, the re registration is limited to 40 participants. And um, we do have an early bird registration price that is good um, through January 20th. So check it out. It's going to be a really fun day. Some really fun make and takes, prize giveaways, product demonstrations, um, display boards. It's going to be great and you won't want to miss it. So get yourself registered. All right. Next order of business. Um, I have my monthly host code right up here. November. Um, I am giving away with uh, um, every $50 order and of course limit one per person, but a pack of the holiday uh, rhinestones. Along with that, if you order from me in um, between now and um, I have to have the date between now and December 12th and your order is over $25, you will be entered in my 12 days of Christmas gift away. So starting December 13th, I'm going to be sending out a gift to one lucky winner so if you place that order with me between now and december 12th and your order is over 25 dollars, you are going to go into my 12 days of christmas gift away drawing so get ordering it's gonna be good all right today today i have a fun card to show you that uses all of those designer series paper trimmings. And being it's right after Thanksgiving, we have lots of trimmings left over, right? So let's talk about this. I'm gonna show you the card. This is what we'll be doing. And I wanna talk to you about where this little stamp set came from. This is the paper pumpkin for the month of November, 2021. It's called Gifts Galore. It can no longer be ordered, but that's the thing. I do not want you to miss out on next month. Um, and you have to order or subscribe to Paper Pumpkin by the 10th of each month, okay? But, in these paper pumpkins every month you get all kinds of fun stuff including everything you need to make fun little projects now this month happens to be gift boxes look at how cute they are so there's this little snowman and I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to fill mine with yet. But I think I'm going to get some bath and body hand soaps and put those in there. Because these are pretty big boxes. So there's the Christmas tree. The pack, the pile of packages. And the little snowman. 
So that's how they're designed to be put together. But of course, every month I do alternative projects and I post those out on um, my Pinterest board. So check that out there. In the kit every month comes a stamp set and an ink spot. This month it was the Flirty Flamingo, which I will not be using right at this moment. But look at this fun stamp set. And I chose to use the Merry Christmas on, on my card. So let's get started and I'll show you what I've got. I decided to use the Tidings of Christmas designer series paper. This can be found in the annual catalog. And it's a six by six pack of 48 sheets. These prints are so pretty and so versatile. They aren't just for Christmas. So let me show you what I have. I've got my trimmer. And when I was talking about the trimmings, I have some remnant pieces of my designer series paper. So is all I'm going to do, and like I said, I'm I'm doing this right right with you here. So today is a little bit different, but I'm gonna just cut some random strips. And I don't want them too, I don't want them too wide, but yet I want them wide enough that you can see the print. So is what I'm gonna do now is just double these. I can't because they're different widths. All right, let's just keep cutting and keep talking. So who's Christmas shopping? I don't have a very good start on mine, but once I get going, it doesn't take long. So that'll be okay. When I'm cutting these strips, you guys, I am just cutting like under a half inch, about a half inch. They don't have to be uniform at all. In fact, you can literally use the scraps that you have. But I am staying under the three quarter inch mark with these. I love this paper with the trees. And I just want to make sure that I have my trees, of course, going right direction, which I do. All right, I think we're getting close to what we need. A couple more here. Look at this pattern. Isn't it awesome? Just love the the cherry cobbler with that evening evergreen, soft succulent, always good colors here at Stampin' Up, right? All right, I think, let's see what this one is. All right, so I think I have what we need for that. The next thing is our um, piece of paper that we're going to, our cardstock that we're going to glue our strips onto. I want that to measure four by five and a quarter. And then I'm just going to cut another piece that exact same size, and that's going to be for the inside of our card. All right, so there's our cardstock for our strips, our inside panel, and then I have a piece of five and a half by eight and a half, and this is the cherry cobbler, and I'm just going to score that at four and a quarter. Okay, so there we have one more thing is I need a strip of just the basic white that measures three quarters of an inch. And that's what we're going to stamp our sentiment on. Okay, we're done cutting. I wanna bring in my silicone mat and I need my piece of cardstock that we're going to 
glue our strips on. Now, I'm not going to put adhesive on every single strip. I'm just going to go at the top, bottom, the sides, and then one down the middle. Okay? So now we start our layering process. And I'm going to bring in, we'll go with this really dark. Evening Evergreen. And I'm just lining that up with the bottom of my card. Next, I'll go with the, let's go with this pretty wintry paper with the little fairy. Oh, you know what? That was kind of dark against dark. I'm going to change my mind. We're going to put the trees on. There's that. And then let's use that dark or some red, maybe some red, let's do red. Little strip in there, be kind of pretty. This process of picking out the papers kind of reminds me of um, quilting. You get all of the pieces and then you kind of color match going up. Now, when you're using paper like I've got here, it's easy because all of the all of the colors coordinate so beautifully together. So now I'm going to stop for a minute. I'm going to bring in that Merry Christmas stamp, and this was part of the stamp set from Paper Pumpkin this month. I'm going to open my Cherry Cobbler ink. And I'm just going to stamp this on my three quarter inch strip of the basic white cardstock. Like that. And I guess while I have this out, I'm going to bring my insert over. And I'm using a stamp from the um, the whimsical trees. I love this. I love this little verse. And it says, may the love, ooh, I got that kind of crooked. Let's try it again. Much better. May the love of the season warm your home and fill, warm your home and fill your heart. Ooh, that was hard to close. All right. So I'm going to just put some adhesive on the top and the bottom because I had that crooked little stamp there. And I'm just going to put that right on the inside of our. All right. Let's continue on with. Oh, and of course I just, there we go, laid my card that I just put the insert on right on top of my adhesive. All right, so let's take a piece of our basic white that we stamped, and I'm just going to put that right on here. Continue on with our Up on the back sides here. Well, this is kind of fun. We haven't done that one. All right, so there we have our piece. And now when we flip it over, and I like using a big scissor for this, but you just cut right along the edge of your cardstock. stock. 
and that will give us our front piece. Isn't it pretty? And like I said, you know, we all have those leftover scraps. The only thing is when you are um, cutting your scraps or looking at your scraps, maybe your strips are smaller and they wouldn't quite fit across like the four inches. Maybe you have shorter scraps. Well, then you can do something like this where you put them on the diagonal and use the smaller strips, okay? So, there it is. I'm going to add some dimensionals. And then we'll bring in our card front. What did I get? Oh, I have a little bit of adhesive on there. Right, I'm going to fold this so that I can see my score line a little bit better and get this centered. And then I'm just going to put this on the front of my card. So I end up with all of these little strips. And then I felt like it needed one more thing. So I just took some of my white. This comes in a pack and it, there's a lot of it. The Baker Twine, Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. You get five rolls of the, and you can color this too if you want to. I'm not going to today. I'm just going to leave it white. But using your, um, oh, your reinkers, you can just put some drops in a, little plastic cup or a Dixie cup or something and color this white twine any color you would like it to be. And as you can see, I'm on the struggle bus here with my bow this morning. Like it. And to untie it and maybe do a single bow. That'll be better. The double bow seemed like it was just a little bit too much for the simplicity of my card. And then using a glue dot, I'm just going to pick the dot. Little bow. Quick and easy, and yet very fun and festive. I hope you'll check out my paper pumpkin. I hope you'll place an order with me of $25 or more to get into my 12 days of Christmas gift away. And be sure to use my November host code right up here when ordering. And if your order is over $50, you'll get a package of the holiday rhinestones this month from me just for shopping with me. Have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye.